Welcome back to the channel. Today's day 126 of this 300 days fitness challenge. Today's exercise is right on the screen along with our daily checklist and a list of the items we're going to use until the end of this challenge. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and pound the like button. Let's get to it. Let's take our first break. Whew. All right, in case you haven't noticed, I'm wearing a sweatshirt. <laughs> Still wearing shorts. <laughs> uh, the plan is to take this sweatshirt off once I'm done with uh, the warm up. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but that is the plan as of right now. Woo. So it's gonna be one more set, just dips. Using it as a warm up for now. Um, thereafter, we'll continue with our regular exercises. Um, just like last time, I'll go from doing dips to doing extensions and then we'll finish the day with kickbacks now I last time I did this exercise I spoke about uh, this this cable pulley system which is not really a system it's just a pulley and a <laughs> steel cable <laughs> going through it um, I have it done actually. Uh, pretty easy to put together. Uh, this can hold way more weight than what I can actually lift. I, I already tried it. <laughs> Try it with, uh, what was it? 35. I tried it with 60 pounds. Tried with 60 pounds. I couldn't move it. Well, I moved it, but couldn't actually lift it properly. So I guess I'm gonna start with 35 pounds, but it's not going to be in today's exercise. Um, it goes like this. So got it all complete, but I'm not gonna start using it yet simply because I don't have the handle. <laughs> I could you probably use anything as a handle. I have a ginormous nail there that can be used as a handle if I really wanted to. But uh, I'll make my own one of these days and it'll be more comfortable. All right, other than that, that's it. This holds, as I, as I say, it holds way more weight than what I can actually lift. So it will be good. The only thing is, I don't know how much weight does that beam hold? Because that's kind of the weakest link as of right now. All this stuff weighs more, uh, can handle more than 400 pounds. I'm hoping that that beam can hold more than 200 pounds, even though I'm probably gonna be lifting less than 50 pounds, at least to start with. Anyway, time's up. Let's get back to it. Here we go.
Ah. All right, let's take our second break of the day. Whew. I felt that warm up for sure. Now I need to plug in this phone to stop shutting down on me. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my gloves. So I'm probably not gonna use those. Simply because it's like 15 degrees outside right now. I can't believe I walked out here <laughs> being that cold. Wearing just this thin sweatshirt and shorts. But, uh, oh. Wearing shorts. I don't know. My my legs are frozen. <laughs> are cold. I wear just cheap gloves to hold the 35 pound plate. And we'll do the four sets of that. And then we'll do the kickbacks. And the kickbacks we're gonna do them just like last time. I'm gonna do them with the 25 pound discs it's easier to manage than the dumbbells so today we're not gonna be putting any dumbbells together they should already be no they should already be but with the 25 pounds plates should be plenty <sighs> Whew. or not I feel like I have something in these pockets and I actually don't <laughs> just funny I thought I did all right let's see oh um, my yeah I'm kind of in the frame there all right let's see just a few more seconds Does anybody remember what is it called? Is it battery? Safe mode? Oh, low power mode. Turn it off. That thing drives me nuts. Okay. I'm actually gonna do the first one with the sweatshirt on and go from there. Here we go. Take a break. 
and seems like this weight is a little too light <laughs> just a tad too light for me and where's the timer okay it's right here Oof. all right time is ticking and as it goes on we're gonna rest <laughs> which is the plan of the timer there but anyway I wasn't really planning on working out today I almost skipped today because I came in here two hours ago um, yeah I was off well, I'm still off so being inside the house the entire day <laughs> Not going outside, the only time I opened the door was to let my dog out. Didn't feel that cold. But then two hours ago, I came in here and it was freezing, like unbelievably freezing. I was like, ah, <laughs> I definitely can't do anything in this, in this temperatures. Nothing at all, no, 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 no. So I turned on the heater. I put it at 92, that's pretty much as high as it goes. And left. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it another chance. <laughs> Hopefully it's a little bit warmer now. Hopefully it's way warmer by now. So I came in here and it is still cold. It is unbel unbelievably cold. So, I'm lucky I have this <laughs> passion, strong passion for me to actually work out. Uh, let's see what's going on. It's almost time. Mm. Right, time's still ticking. Just a few more seconds to go. We're gonna do another set. And just like yesterday, sorry, not like yesterday, but the day before yesterday, um, I feel stronger for some reason. Maybe it's food? Cause I ate maybe three hours ago and I ate quite a bit. <laughs> which I need to get back to my calorie count and tracking. I'm kind of slacking this few past, past few days. But anyway, time is up. Here we go again. Time for another break. And that's the thing about these gloves. <laughs> Can't touch the screen. So as I was saying, I'm not sure if it's the food because I ate quite some food before I came out about three hours ago, which I can still feel the food in my stomach going on. And then being a little relaxed on the 
calorie count. Uh, so maybe that's what it is. That's an option. An option could be that my body is adapting to the exercises because technically it's the same, are the same exercises, the same routine. Besides two days ago, when I decided to add some weight to my leg exercises. Other than that, everything's been kind of the same. Not that there's much that I can change with the limited amount of equipment I have, but um, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. But at the same time, um, I'll probably have to add some weight to this tricep, at least for next week. <sighs> yep. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe I'll use the little Z-bar, Z-bar belt to do triceps or do this extension sitting. I can do them sitting. I don't have a problem with that. The only thing is that I want to limit the amount of strain I put on my lower back. And I already do my shoulder press without leaning on the bench. Um, I don't really want to add another exercise to put more strain on my lower back. Uh, and as you saw yesterday, that's the only thing I do for core. <laughs> Which is lame. Uh, but yeah, that's all I'm doing for core for now. I know at some point I'll be doing probably uh, toes to hand or whatever it's called <laughs> or toes to bar I'm not sure what it's called but it's like leg raises but all the way to the top and I just horse on um, uh, I mentioned doing crunches in the past I'm not sure if I'm still gonna be trying to do those um, it's probably because I have a bad form but I tend to have inter um, a weird lower back pain after I do crunches and as I said it's probably my, my form I have a really bad form for crunches I want to do crunches and it's more quantity than quality at that point but anyway time is up here we go again with the third set on this All right, let's take another break. Uh, feels good doing the exercise. It's just that tiny discomfort on my left elbow. I uh, wish I can find other exercises that I can do for my triceps without discomfort. Besides the pulley. Uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I tried it. It worked. I was saying I could feel on my triceps and I did not feel any discomfort on my uh, on my elbows. <sighs> maybe, but just maybe, one of these days I'll try to do this exact exercise I'm doing here. Uh, sitting. Um, my might change the uh, shoulder press and I'll lean on the bench 
so I can do them more relaxed, but at the same time, I get some lower back pain when I do it that way. Or I can do this exercise, leaning back on the bench to alleviate the elbow pain that I currently have, or discomfort, whatever you want to call it. All right, time still ticking for our, on our last break of this particular exercise. We'll get rid of this bench and we'll do some uh, kickbacks with 25 pound belt uh, plates. I wonder how I'm gonna do tomorrow because I do work tomorrow morning. Um, and I say I do work tomorrow morning is more so because I'm second out as we speak. <laughs> I'm second out and I uh, will most likely get a phone call in the morning sometime around maybe 4 30 a.m. 4 o'clock to work at 6 in the morning and tomorrow is chest day so I'll do it right after work I'll work out after, I'm not sure if it's right after work or after I come back at some point it will all depend on how the day's going. Um, but I might be tired for tomorrow's exercise. Yes, I'm starting with excuses already, and I haven't even. <laughs> and the day hasn't even arrived yet. I'm already making excuses. All right. <sighs> Time is almost up, or is up now. Here we go. Let's take a break. And as the time ticks, let's get rid of this 35 pound plate. Put it back in its place. You will think that by now I'm all warmed up and you will be wrong. <laughs> Still have goosebumps. this camera up a little bit a little bit this way that's good there I'm gonna keep these gloves because I'm gonna be using them in a second My stomach is pretty full. Last thing I want to do is be dehydrated here. But I should, I should get back to my calorie count, tracking my calories, and make sure I put myself in a little bit of a deficit. 
I don't need to be in a thousand calorie deficit or all right, maybe 500 calories. It's good enough. I've been since I started this. Well, since I started counting the calories anyway. Uh, so I haven't really started seriously with the calories, but uh, I'm starting seriously on day 130, which is four days from now. It's four days from now. Uh, I'm going to definitely track my calories and definitely be on a calorie deficit. And at the same time, I need to keep my eye on my gains as well because I don't want to just uh, get lean <laughs> and sacrifice all my gains. I need to make sure I get some muscle gains as well besides losing fat. Because that is part of the goal. It's not just to be ripped, but also be a little bit muscular. Have a little bit of muscle, yeah. Just a little bit, just enough to feel the suit. All right. All right. We have this 25 pounders. Time is up. And here we go. All right, let's take a break. It's kind of tough to handle the disc because they don't really have a handle like a dumbbell would. But at the same time, it's kind of the compromise spot there that I get for trading the other dumbbells that I have. As I mentioned before, it would be awesome if I had another one like this, so I can do kickbacks easier. But I don't, <laughs> so I gotta work with what I have. As I'm working, as I'm doing these kickbacks, I'm actually thinking, should I, should I just do the pulley with, with what I have the, which is, I don't have the handle, I just have a little piece of metal <laughs> that will go with one end and just pull through that. Seriously considering it. And again, you don't need some any fancy equipment to exercise. I think I'm gonna do it. Just do two sets and call it a day. All right, time's still ticking. And let me see how many more minutes I have in here. Oh. Let me reset this. Yeah. Huh. Camera almost shut down on me. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> oh man, I looked right on time. It was just a few seconds. <laughs> All right, time is still taking just a few more seconds to go. It's under a minute now. Yeah. 
that's what I'm going to do. I'll hang it there. And I'll do my push downs. That always gave me good results at the gym back in the day. All right, time is almost up. Let's get ready. Take another break. Oh. Whew. Felt that one. <sighs> Trying to hold it back as much as I can to put a little bit of resistance on the negative force. <sighs> Definitely felt it. <sighs> Not enough to call a workout yet which is why I'm going to use the bullet today. All right, all right. Let's have a sip of water. And then stand back here so I get a little bit of heat from the heater. Which, by the way, it's just a little bit supposed to be blowing heat at 92 degrees it's barely coming out warm Whew. It's 15 degrees outside in the free state of Pennsylvania not much warmer in here all right that was the second set of those kickbacks two more sets to go and I'm gonna do two sets of the push downs and call it a day but this shoulder is kind of giving me a little bit of discomfort right as we speak. So hopefully for tomorrow it is okay because tomorrow even though it's chest day I might be well not might be but he uses a little bit of his shoulders especially on the incline dumbbell press. Incline dumbbell press uses more shoulder than flat and less shoulder than decline but as we mentioned before I'm gonna get rid of the decline uh, dumbbell press and just do the inclined and the flat all right time is up go
Oof. Let's take a break. Oof. That feels good. Oh. Just one more break. We'll do another set of kick kickbacks. Definitely feeling in the triceps. Yes, I hit the timer, that's a good thing. <laughs> now, since we are going to start with the push downs, I'm going to set this up. It's gonna be this thing. Is the weight plate, pin, holder, or post, whatever it's called. <laughs> and I'm gonna start with 35 pounds. And to save work, I'm gonna use an actual 35 pound plate. And that's it. Oh, well, that's mostly it. Ah. All right. Let's get this set up. That's basically it. Believe it or not. <laughs> that's basically it. All I'm gonna do is put a giant nail that I have here. You probably don't believe me. But it is some sort of garden nail. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm just gonna stick it in here and use it. Gotta work with what I have, right? Just a little bit on the heavy side. Too much noise. <laughs> anyway, in the meantime, I need some room so I can do my kickbacks. Just a few more seconds. We're gonna be again on the kickbacks, which is the last set of the kickbacks. Here we go. Felt good. Let's put this thing away and start the timer. Let's see how this thing is gonna go. It's just gonna be. couple of days until I can have my actual handle which at this point this is homemade along with this might as well do my do the handle myself too <laughs> I don't see the need to Go crazy and fancy at this point anyway. 
So we'll put the giant nail in here and start pulling this thing or pushing this thing. Pushing it down. I feel it already. <laughs> Whew. All right. I'm still taking. Oh. Yes, I am in the frame. Good. Oh. And luckily, I'm not pulling a lot of weight because <laughs> this could become uncomfortable fast. Really fast. <sighs> Maybe for next time. We'll do this right after the dips. And if I go too fancy, I can use these for lat pull downs. But however, I prefer doing pull ups. Uh, besides that, I believe it's a superior exercise. I want to get better at doing pull ups. I don't need to, but I want. Gosh, this air is coming out. Barely warm, barely. We'll see how it's gonna be tomorrow. How cold it's gonna be tomorrow. Hopefully not too cold. playing with my watch all right time is up here we go All right, let's take one more break. And this is gonna be the last break of the day. I definitely felt every single rep I did there. It was burning. I could probably put a little more weight, maybe 10 more pounds. However, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm not gonna push my lock. <laughs> uh, I did a lot of reps as it is. However, I'm gonna leave it there. This thing spins around in here and that adds a little bit of trickiness to the exercise. So I'm gonna leave it there for now. Maybe next time. Whenever I have a better handle to the situation. <laughs> Oof. But yeah, I definitely felt every rep. It felt good. All right. Time is still ticking on our very last break. We're gonna go right back to it. And then we're gonna go home. Oh, well, I'm already home gonna go across the wall <sighs> it is cold out here it is very cold it's the coldest I've been since 
not last night, but what was that night? A couple nights ago when I worked third shift and it was very cold and windy. That's the coldest I've been in a long time. Now I'm cold in here, but not as cold as I was that night. <laughs> Whew. Uh. Just a few more seconds. And our very last break. Ready or not, here we go. Well, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Adios.